Good morning again, little saints, and it's story time. Today, we are going to read the story of the one o'clock miracle. And you might be wondering, but this is actually one of my favorite stories. Yay! Okay, shall we read this story, Hannah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, the one o'clock miracle. Hmm. I wonder what the miracle is. Let's have a little look, shall we? Long, long ago, there lived an important man who worked for the king. He was sad and so, so worried. His son was ill, so ill, he was going to die and no one could help him. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, but then he heard that a man named Jesus was doing the most wonderful things. He heard that Jesus was making sick people well again. He heard that Jesus was doing things that only God can do. So the man decided to ask Jesus for help. Hmm, I wonder if Jesus is going to say yes. The man and his son lived at Capernaum by the sea, just all the way up here. But Jesus was staying in Cana more than 20 miles away. It was a very long walk and uphill all the way. But the man had decided that he must see Jesus. So he said goodbye to his son and his family. And he set out to see Jesus. Look at all his things that he's taking with him on his journey. Whoop, let's turn the page. Up the hill he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he wanted so badly to see Jesus. The sun went down, the night was dark and the stars were bright. But the man did not stop. Puffing and puffing, he walked and walked and sometimes ran, hurrying to see Jesus. The sun came up, the morning arrived, but there was still a long, long way to go. Puffing and panting, the man walked and walked and sometimes ran because he needed to see Jesus. At last, at one o'clock in the afternoon, the man reached Cana, where Jesus was. He had walked and walked and sometimes ran. And now, at last, he could see Jesus. Hmm. Please, sir, he said, my son is dying. Please come with me. Please make him better. The man knew that if Jesus came with him and touched his son, the boy would be well again. But Jesus just said, go. Oh, that's a bit strange. He didn't want to come with the man. What? Go home without Jesus? After all that walking and even running to get to Jesus. But Jesus hadn't finished what he was going to say. Go, Jesus said. And then he added, your son will live. Mm. The man believed Jesus. Jesus wasn't going to come to the man's home. He wasn't going to touch the boy to make him well, but the man still trusted that what Jesus said was true. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen, Queen Hannah. Down the hill, he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he believes Jesus. The sun went down. Sun? 
The night was dark and the moon shone brightly. The man felt so, so tired. But on and on he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he trusted Jesus. Yeah, your son will live. Mm, he trusted in Jesus' promises. The sun came up, a new morning arrived, and still he walked and walked. Right. Though his back ached and his legs were very tired. What does it say? Your son will. On and on he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he was sure that Jesus would make his son well. Look, he's got longer to go to pee, to go to pee but a shorter to go down. He's nearly home, isn't he? Mm. Then far away in the distance he saw some men. They came closer. And closer, they were his own servants. They must have news, he thought. But what would it be? Hmm, I wonder if they've got good news for the man or sad news for the man. Sir, they said, it's your son. Hmm, he is alive. He is well again. The man was bursting for joy. When? The man asked, when did he get better? What time do you think he might have got better, Hannah? One o'clock. One o'clock, let's see. Yesterday at one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock? One o'clock, the man replied. Then the man remembered. It was one o'clock when he saw Jesus. It was one o'clock when Jesus said his son would live. And it was one o'clock when his son got better. Jesus didn't need to go and see the boy. He didn't need to walk and walk and sometimes run. Jesus simply spoke. And just like that, the boy was better. Wow, only Jesus could do that. And do you know why? Hmm, why could that be? It's because Jesus is God's son. Yeah. He, Jesus simply spoke. Mm-hmm. Happy and smiling, the man walked home and sometimes ran to see his son again. Then he told his son and his family about Jesus and how Jesus could do things that only God can do. And they all believed in Jesus, God's son too. Your son And now that the man's son was well, what could he do? He could smile and he could laugh and he could walk and walk and sometimes run and all because of Jesus. Isn't that a great story about how we can trust God's word? Yep. Okay, we'll see you again shortly for some crafts. Bye.